Welcome to PCC Library's tutorial on using the online catalog. I'm Lena, a librarian at Pasadena City College. In this tutorial, I will present three ways that you can search for materials. I will also highlight some features in the online catalog that will make searching more successful. So I'm going to start off at the PCC Library homepage. Now on the PCC Library homepage, you will see a box kind of at the top of the screen, which is actually our online catalog. What I will be featuring are how to search for books, a shortcut on how to search for um, online articles, and then an all search that will allow you to search for all the materials that are located in our collection. So I'll go ahead and start with the books tab. So I'm going to click on books and let me do a basic search like, climate change. So climate change is my keyword search. After I type in my keyword, I'm going to click on search. And it should give me a collection of print materials or print books that I can locate on the bookshelves here at the library. But it will also direct me to electronic books as well. So let me highlight the difference between the two. So the first result at the top, the title of the book is Climate Change. And if you notice here, it says available at Chatford Library, third floor, and it provides a call number. So the call number is the location of the book on the bookshelf here at the library. So if I wanted more information on this print book, I would click on the title and it would take me to what is called a title record. It provides bibliographic information such as the creator or the author. It provides additional subject headings that this book falls under. It also gives me a useful description. So I usually advise students to read the description of a book to determine if they want to borrow it, as well as the table of contents, which is listed as well. So if I decided I wanted this book for checkout, I could simply locate it on the bookshelf if I'm already here at the library, or if I know that I want the book, but I need to come to the library at a later time, let me show you how to place the book on hold. So how you would do that is you would go to the area of the title record that says get it, and you would actually sign into the online catalog with the use of your Lancer username and password. Now I am already signed in. So when I clicked on get it, it actually took me directly to the request icon. So once I log in with my Lancer point username and password, then when I access the request icon, I can actually click there and then I can finalize my request for this print book by clicking the send request icon. Now that book will be held for you at the circulation desk for seven business days. So you'll have an opportunity to come in person, pick up that book from the circulation desk and the book will be due on the last day of the semester. So that is an example of how you would access a print book. I'm going to go back to the results list so that I can show you what an ebook or an electronic book looks like. So let me scroll down the list so I can locate an electronic book. And here is one right here called Climate Change Adaptation in Eastern Europe, Managing Risk and Building Resilience to Climate Change. I know that this is a, an ebook because it says available online versus saying um, available at Chatford Library, let's say on the third floor. So I'm going to click on this title. And again, it does provide a title record with the bibliographic information and a detailed description of what this ebook or electronic book is about. Now, the only difference is that if I want to access this book, I can actually go to view online in the title record. And under full text availability, I can click on the database that the ebook is where the ebook is located. So when I click on the name of the database, it should take me directly into that ebook. Now, if you're working from off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your Lancer Point username and password. And once you do, you can access the ebook. 
There's no need to check it out. There's no need to place it on hold. You simply log in and it is available to you. So here's an example of a full text ebook, which includes a table of contents and the different chapters. And you can either read those chapters as a PDF file, or you can even download those chapters to your personal device. So this is an example of how you would access an electronic book. Okay, so I am going to go back to the PCC Library homepage by clicking on PCC Library in the top left corner here. I'm going to go back to the online catalog on the homepage so that I can show you the second way you can make use of the online catalog by looking for articles specifically. Now, one disclaimer is that when you search for articles in the online catalog, it will in fact um, pull articles from our database collection, but it will only pull from certain databases. So I will show you um, in a moment how you can access the full list of our databases, but this is a shortcut on how you can access articles in our collection. So I'm going to use the same keyword, climate change. I'm going to click on search. And if you notice here, there are a variety of articles that have come up for climate change. Um, ranging from peer reviewed articles to open access. So peer reviewed simply means that um, the author's work or the researcher's work was reviewed by professionals in the field um, before that article was published in a journal. And open access means that even if we have not paid for that article to be in our collection, it is actually open access or made available for free through the internet. So oftentimes if we don't have an article in our collection, we sometimes go to, let's say, the general internet to locate maybe an open access article through, let's say, um, a resource such as Google Scholar. But in the case of our online database um, collection, we do have some open access, which means that it's free for all, whereas some of our database articles do require um, a login, and it does require that the library holds that um, article in our collection for a subscription. So let's say, for example, um, you want to see specifically where these articles are located and what databases. What you would do is you would click on the filter on the left, which um, says collection, and it will list all of the databases that the um, online catalog utilize to create this results list. So there are quite a few databases that are listed here, such as ProQuest Central, Academic Search Complete, but again, a lot of our databases were not accessed in this search. It doesn't mean you can't use the online catalog. It simply means that if you wanted a full range of the databases that we do have in our collection, you would access our A to Z database list, which I'll show you in a moment. So just like the ebook example that I showed, what you would do if you wanted to access, let's say this first article, is you could either click on available online or the title itself. And once you open up the title record, under full text availability, it will list the different databases that hold this particular article. And you would simply click on that database. And if you're already logged in, it will take you directly into that database, which in this case is ProQuest. So let's go back to the PCC library homepage. And speaking of the A to Z database list, if you wanted the full list of our databases that are available free to students, what you would do is you would return to our homepage. You would go to this red toolbar and the icon that says databases would give you full access to all of our databases. We have quite a few here. So again, the online catalog is a nice shortcut but the A to Z database list will give you the full list of databases that are available to you as a student.
And last but not least, I'd like to showcase how you would do an all search. An all search basically means that you're searching for different source types in our collection, whether it be a print book from the bookshelves here in the library, an ebook, an article, even a DVD. If you wanted to do an all search on a particular topic, you can do that as well. So I'm going to use climate change one more time. I'm going to click on search. And if you notice here, print, a print book did come up as an example, but so did some videos. So these videos would actually be housed in some of our video databases. So if you wanted to access a video online from let's say a database like Films on Demand, then you could click on available online and access that video database. But I'd like to highlight some filters that you could use to um, make your results list more successful, starting with the availability filter here on the left. So available online means any videos, any articles, any ebooks that are available in our databases or through open access. Peer review would mean that if I click here, it would basically show me all of the peer reviewed articles that the online catalog picked up on. Open access again simply means that even if we have not paid to house that article in our collection, we should be able to access it for free anywhere online. And lastly, available in the library means that it is a material such as a print material or a DVD that is physically available on our bookshelves. Another filter I'd like to highlight is resource type. So when you click on resource type, it highlights the different source types that appear in the results list, such as a dissertation, book chapters, if you're looking for print books, it tells us how many print books came up in our um, result list, also videos. So this is a variety of source types ranging from um, physical tangible materials as well as electronic materials. Now publication date range may be important for your assignments. Sometimes your professors may want you to use information written within the last five to 10 years if you're looking for more current information. If you're looking for information written a long time ago, if you're doing like a research analysis on history, then um, you could maybe um, set your publication date range to be a bit broader. But this is basically where you would set the publication date range that you want and then you would click refine, and then it would refresh your results list to only show information written within that range that you've set. And then lastly, um, I'd like to highlight the subject filter. So the subject filter would be useful if you're trying to narrow your um, topic a little further. So when you click on subject, there are related subjects that the online catalog has picked up on. So if you're looking at climate change from a COVID-19 perspective, if you're examining climate change in regards to agriculture, or even if you simply want to look for electronic books or documentaries on climate change, you can actually go ahead and apply that filter and climate change documentaries will therefore appear in your results list. So that subject filter will further narrow your results list in hopes that you'll find what you're looking for for your research. So if you have any questions on how to use the online catalog, you are more than welcome to reach out to a librarian. So where you would go is ask a librarian on the PCC library homepage on the same red toolbar where it says Ask a Librarian. And there are four ways to get in touch with us. We love to see students in person, so please feel free to visit us at the reference desk during our open hours. And we also have a phone number for the reference desk um, noted here on our website. You can also send us an email 
with the use of this email form. Um, please fill out the information and a detailed description of your question, and we'll do our best to respond within the next business day. Now, other ways that you can get in touch with us would include the 24-7 chat feature, where you can correspond with a librarian in real time, where we can chat with you one-on-one. -on -one. You can hop on, ask your research question, and we will assist you through chat. You can also use this resource at night or on weekends. Sometimes it may be a librarian at another institution, but if it is, and if the question is specific to PCC, that librarian will share your question with one of us, and we will respond to you within the next business day. And last but not least, you are welcome to schedule a live consultation appointment with a PCC librarian, either by phone or through Zoom. If you know in advance that you need research help with the librarian, feel free to go to our research help appointment page to set up an appointment with the librarian. You can set up a 20 minute or even a 50 minute consultation. We can help you with narrowing your topics, looking for books and articles, and we also can help with citations. I do hope this tutorial was helpful. Please reach out if you have any questions, and we do look forward to connecting with you. Take care.